Hi everyone, I'm Alan Torp and let me also just remind you, it's Sunday, which means it's time for, I don't know, um, drink too much wine, getting your laundry done, stand on your head, maybe you also bought a bunch of kittens, who knows. The only thing I know is that I have the very best channel about Scandinavian design right here on YouTube. And let me just say, today is going to be so awesome. Today is all about art as I dive into this new book called Living with Art. Written by my good friend Katrine Martensen Lassen with amazing photography by Mikkel Elsberg. I'll take you through some of my favorite parts of the book and give you tips on how to create your very own dream art collection. As you can see, I'm not in my own home, although I would love this setting. No, this is actually Katrina's home office, which is just the perfect setting for this week's video. Katrina is an amazing and very renowned Danish Copenhagen-based stylist. She has been around as long as I can remember and is always one of my favorite people to run into at events around town because she is hilarious and dare I say just as crazy and straightforward as I am. Never afraid of saying what's on her mind, which I absolutely love. I've always been super fascinated with art. Well, maybe not always. My teenage room were covered in posters of New Kids on the Block and later a mix of Pamela Anderson, I know, don't ask, and everything Beverly Hills 90210. And my mom had a frame poster of Monet's Water Lilies. So I weren't exactly exposed to the world of fine art. I'm not trying to throw my mom under the bus here. We were just a simple suburban family. So let me rephrase. I have been super fascinated with art in my entire adult life. I guess art is a little bit like coffee and wine. It's not until you grow older you really start to appreciate it. Anyway, enough about me and my rather pathetic attempt to sound like I know anything about art because honestly, I don't. As I just said, I'm just a simple suburban kid. So, Living with Art. This massive book takes you on private visits to 10 Danish contemporary artists where you'll get a behind the scene insight into their creative processes. But also you get a very exclusive look into 10 individual homes of true art collectors. Some are very vibrant and colorful, others are more monochrome and more subdued. Exactly how Scandinavian design is today. Flipping through the book, you see so many great examples of the perfect gallery walls and display of art pieces, which many of us only dream to have in our own homes. You don't have to be a millionaire to create a great art collection. Well, it helps, but it can be done for less and not everything has to be a numbered collectible. A great art collection, however, takes years to build for most of us. The number one rule when creating your own collection, you have to love the pieces you get. You're the only person who will have to look at them all every day. So don't care what other people think. If you love it, get it. There is art and there is decoration and then there's everything in between. An artwork cannot be expected to just fit into any interior design. That would really just compromise both the artist's integrity as well as the message they wish to convey. As you will see throughout this book, there is really no rule to what you can hang or display. Often what I like the most is when people dare to do something or display something unexpected 
which is the case in my favorite collector's home in the book, owned by Bo Beck, a renowned Danish chef. His home is very scanty chic, nothing surprising when it comes to the interior. A great big gray sofa, a kitchen in oak, white walls, yeah, you know the style, but on the walls and around the basic interior, you'll find great colorful pieces of art, like the sculpture with a long red nose made by Maria Top, raised on a pedestal between the kitchen and dining area in the open space Copenhagen apartment. On the floor, also in the kitchen, two bulldogs with rubber boots and all by Belgian artist William Sweetloves. Bo's office is my favorite. The great desk and leather chair is just the perfect setting for the four elongated collages by Evren Tiki Nocte. Most wouldn't think to hang art in the kitchen or bathroom, but why not? One of the best places to experience that is at the Darling, a very unique guest house in the heart of Copenhagen. You may remember I visited earlier this year and was just blown away by the artwork throughout. And I love their approach and philosophy that you should be able to discover art in any contemporary setting. Also, the areas where it can be harder to place. After all, we spent a lot of time in the kitchen and bathroom, so why not just go all in? Like the rest of your interior, you should of course plan how you display your artwork in the best possible way. Don't just throw it in a random corner or hang it randomly on the walls. Katrina's own wall behind me is a great example of how it's done just right. Although it's a big mix of different forms and textures, they all somehow work seamlessly together. The colors on this one piece fits in with this piece and the small hints of green throughout. And finally, which is also a great point, don't necessarily match all your frames, but stick at least with black, white and oak for a cohesive Scandinavian look. Luckily, those three also fits with almost any kind of artwork. As I mentioned before, I am no expert in art, but the book also takes us behind the scenes on some amazing contemporary artists. And as they also talk us through their own stories, what drives them, what inspires them, I get a bigger understanding of what makes great art. I especially love getting an inside look of Jakob E. Bear's bright and very well organized studio space. His playful, vibrant and humorous work is sculptural pieces of art, driven by function, which I really enjoy. I like when art is not so abstract that it needs a doctor's degree to understand or to appreciate. On the other side of the spectrum, you have Sarah Matzinsen, whose work is a lot more calm in a sense. Her wall hung pieces weaved in materials like hemp, sisal, pineapple fibers, you name it, are so pure and pleasing to the eye. They bring calmness. And I love it. As you can imagine, my art wish list just grew tenfold after reading this book. Although I probably will never own any of them, dreams are good to have. For now, I will just keep flipping through this book. And if you want one, you can use the link below to buy your own copy. In fact, Katrine also made two other must-have books. One right here. It's called Nordic Moods, which is a guide to successful interior decoration. And the other one 
is called The Christmas Season, which is another perfect book to inspire you for your Christmas decor. Of course, both are linked down below. I hope you liked this kind of content. Let me know in the comments below your favorite pieces of art. It may hang on your walls already or it's just on your wish list. Let me know in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all next week. Love you. Until next time.